My name is Michael Project Dad Life and thank you guys for joining us. I am just a dad who loves DIY projects and today we have to rip out our blacktop driveway. Hang with us towards the end we'll go over some highs and lows of asphalt versus concrete and also I'll share with you guys why we chose to go with asphalt and the major failure point on our driveway. Welcome to the lab. Good job, bud. We got the trucks showing up, but right here in front of the shop, you can see this is the part they're gonna cut out, and this is some of the issues we are having. And I think the grade was just a little low, so the water runoff was standing right here, and all these cracks you see right here, when it rained pretty heavy, this was kind of like a floating blanket. You could like step on it, and it kind of was like a trampoline walking on it. But Ed's paving, he's good on his word. He's gonna cut all this stuff out, repave it, and it's gonna be good. Oh, it's crazy how soft that is. I guess that's normal asphalt in the heat. Yeah, that's a jackhammer. One there. There's one that, going in there. Yeah, that's the seam roller. Are they going to fix it? Yeah. Yeah, they're fixing it up. So it's been a couple days since they did the asphalt and it takes about that long for it to cool off and harden up they say. So I'm going to show you guys our finished product and exactly where we found our major failure point in our asphalt driveway. And then at the end of the video or towards the end I'll give you about five reasons and comparisons why we chose asphalt versus concrete and we'll kind of compare the two and I'll let you know why we went with asphalt. Alright sun is already up and bright this morning so apologize for that but let me get you guys set up. I want to show you exactly where we found our major failure point and why. So right here, this big hole, it is in front of our small 10 foot garage. And what happened was once they started digging that up, that is where the majority of the cracks were. And once you have cracks in the asphalt, the water just starts going through and you can almost never stop it. So they um, dug that spot first and once they pulled all the asphalt out of there, they actually found a bunch of topsoil like grass and hay that was decomposed and wet. So the original grader who graded the property buried that topsoil under there. It turned into hay, it collected water and moisture and it held that. And then they tried to uh, do the asphalt on top, which is a no-go because that moisture will never come out of there or escape. And then that allows the water to just keep on penetrating the asphalt. 
and then our situation will happen and you'll have a floating driveway pretty much when it gets wet and it will never dry out. So that was the main cause of our driveway failure. After that, he smoothed everything back out and made sure that the grade was perfect because that is the number one thing you wanna worry about when doing asphalt is your grade. You have to get that water off of the asphalt. All right, now let's hit the five reasons and comparisons of the concrete and asphalt. All right, we're back in the shop because the sun, although beautiful, is just gleaming in your face and it's really hard to film. Uh, number one reason and comparison is the cost. The asphalt driveway is a lot cheaper than the concrete and that is why we chose to go with the asphalt. Now, this is coming from the professional who paved our driveway, um, a generic, you know, black top asphalt hot mix will be around $4 a square foot, just to keep that in mind. Concrete, on the other hand, the market is so volatile right now with the cost, um, it is anywhere from eight to $15 a square foot. So it's almost three times, if not four times, as much to do concrete versus asphalt. That's the one reason. Number two is the prep work. And this is one of the reasons why our asphalt driveway failed from the get-go because our first initial grader that did the rough end on our property did not do a very good job. So we had standing water all over the place. And if you're pouring hot asphalt, you have to have a dry, hard packed surface. So they usually will bring in crush and run or rocks. And the main purpose of the prep work is to make sure that the elevation is correct to flow the water off so if you've had standing water on your property or you're building a home or standing water mud puddles on your driveway you cannot pour the asphalt over top of that it has to be crowned the drainage has to be perfect for the asphalt to work and dry out properly that's one benefit about the concrete the prep work doesn't have to be as on point as asphalt because the concrete will kind of fill in the gaps once it hardens and dries it's there it's done it can take up the gaps of some issues if you have with your grading number three is going to be maintenance that's one thing you have to consider with the asphalt driveway you do or they recommend that you coat or reseal it every few years the whole reason the asphalt driveway for it to stay you know solid and smooth and work is to keep the water from penetrating it so what happens is as the asphalt wears out it can crack and you can have seams or holes or pits all that stuff if the water gets in there especially over the winter and freezes thaws freezes thaws it's going to crack and it's going to separate and it's going to make a really bad weak point in that driveway so that's why they seal it every couple years it's not that expensive if you get them to come out it's usually like a couple hundred dollars maybe 500 for the driveway and then they'll put a rubber coat on top of it and that way even though your driveway does get some wear marks and some you know worn out or tire marks in certain spots it will seal it up so it will not allow the water to penetrate it and get worse the benefit of concrete is you don't have to worry about the maintenance as much because once that is dry it can run off as long as your your water off is correct it will last a long time but you're going to pay a lot of that cost up front versus the asphalt Number four, all right, we're getting close to the end. And this was a big one for us is the play area for kids. We have three kids, as you guys know. And if you've ever rollerbladed or skateboarded on a concrete driveway with expansion joints and it all trimmed out with the trial knives and all that, it can kind of get rough with a skateboard and small wheels. Lots of falls, you get scraped, you get banged up pretty easy. You know, rollerblading or skateboarding or playing in the street has always been a lot better and easier. So that was one of the main reasons why we went with asphalt because we didn't want any seams and we wanted to have a you know big open basketball court, rollerblade spot, bicycle spot, a big area for the kids to play and not have to worry about the seams or tripping or falling and get banged up. So that's the fourth reason is the play area consideration. What are you gonna do actually on the driveway? Number five, this is the last reason it is gonna be appearance. You really have to take that into consideration because a blacktop driveway over the years will fade, it'll turn gray, it'll look like your neighborhood street or a regular old street. I'm fine with that. It's definitely more of a farmhouse look in my opinion. The concrete driveway definitely looks a lot better. It's a lot fancier, more expensive looking. It will last a lot longer. For us, the older vintage farmhouse look, gravel, blacktop driveway, we're fine with. That's kind of what we prefer. If appearance is one thing that you consider to be at the top of your list, then comparing the two is gonna be quite difficult. There you have it, a asphalt versus concrete comparison video. I hope that information helped you guys. I really wanted to pass that on to you. I know when we made our decision, it was difficult. There was a lot of points and views, considerations we had to look at. But if you like this type of information, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, give us a thumbs up and like, comment below if you have any questions. Stay tuned, we have a bunch of future projects and DIY home improvements coming up. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys will hang out and support it. Thank you guys, we'll see you in the next one.